We're back! <laughs> PSA announcement to everybody. We are back. Welcome to Splitfield 3. Come smoke the best trees ever while enjoying live performances from some of the New England's finest artists. I had to get my ground right. Diamonds on me, they shine bright. Just bought a new watch, then flooded the face. Can't tell if the time right. Nigga, that's my life. And that shit over here. I'm about to move somewhere pretty Not too sedity cause I'm in love with the city, huh Maybe if I wasn't such an infant Maybe if the streets weren't so much Always brought to you by Improperility What? Uh, shorty bad and bougie seeking for attention I can't lie, she moody dealing with depression Like why if I feel connected to you Sorry I can't give any affection to you I'm about that action, nigga, I ain't with the talking I ain't about to put you on while I'm getting off it I done put in work my whole life to be the boss Nigga, I'm about to put in overtime, no exhaust Shot with many of our vendors into raffles and Please don't compare me, I'm one of a kind and these niggas too basic But they can't the bond, put a price in your head and my niggas gonna pay it I'm with the violence, I'm with the money get it in the travels and they moving silence They moving silence I want to bag up. No, I want to ounce of weed when I see you, you motherfucker. This has been a PSA announcement, and I approve this message. We, I mean, we didn't just do that, but all right, motherfuckers, this is Inappropriality. I am DJ Mike Torch. Mac Way. Okay. Jerome. Donnell Buchanan. Word. Right. Shout out our sponsor, All About Business. If you'd like to sponsor the show, contact myself. <clears throat> $25 a month if we can get you on. Uh... A little hiccup with Splitfield. We got more information coming on that real soon. Um, yeah, one of the performers. I, can, I can't, I can't, I can't wait. Yeah, first of all, if y'all motherfuckers don't know who this guy is right here, like, y'all have been under a goddamn rock somewhere. You've been in prison or some shit. Right? Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't know. No <laughs> bullshit. Right. Something Somewhere like where it. they ain't got no TVs, no Something nothing. Something like it. Like, because <laughs> everywhere we go, when motherfuckers talk, like, about this, about this, Eastern mass, Western mass, shit like it's different with the rappers. Like it's real different. Like we got we could argue with the rappers, but when it comes to the R and B shit, mm. we don't got no argument. We don't mm. got no argument. I'm like, yo, there's only one. I don't like to go one off, off top, and everybody else is like, well, this and then that, and, mm. and it's this guy yeah, right here. Nah, nah, there's one. <laughs> nah, there's one. There's one, and that's this guy right here sitting in front of us. Hey, he's, he's, when we say when we hey, say hey, when we say hey, goat, like hey. no bullshit. He said it. <laughs> But that's what it. Love Mike oh, said it. But that's what it is. That's how I feel. I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. It's like there, there are a few, especially when it comes down to the males too. Like, nah, man, nah, nah, yo, nah, yo, y'all crazy. Y'all name somebody. Now you're like, nope. I'm telling you right now, because it's, it's different. It's way different when it comes to performance and your actual voice, bro. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the way you move, like. There is no <laughs> fucking comparison. I don't care what nobody say. That's high praise, man. No that's bullshit. I, no bullshit. I work hard. I mean, that's all I can say. So I, I can't speak to what the, the next person is doing. And shout out to everybody that's doing their thing. But I mean, I, I I I do what I do. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's all I can say. So. Word. How do you get started with the, with the singing? When did you know you could sing? Oh man, I realized I've never told y'all this story, and I've told so many people. <laughs> so it's crazy that, that y'all hear it for the first time. Yo, right when, I, when, I, when we booked y'all, I was like, <clears throat> wait, yo, Rome hasn't been on? No, no, this is the first time. Like, yeah, first, this, yeah, is, yeah, this is a first. A first. It's crazy. It's kind of crazy, right? It didn't make no sense. But I mean, it, it, you, you've been moving, I've been moving, so it's, I, I think it's been conflict and all that kind of stuff, but I'm glad it's happening now. But um, how I got started. I got started on Walnut Street in Hartford um, at a church that my, my parents had. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm the typical if church singing young man, you know what I'm saying? Um, I started out in the back of the church singing to myself, and my mom heard me singing, and she was like, what, what are you singing? Sing that again. And I started singing. She was like, go, go up there and grab the microphone. Mm -hmm. Grab the microphone and the rest is history. Um, that's my baby. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Shout out to my moms, man. I love my mom. I love my mom. In fact, like I love that. my mom. Um, but yeah, you know, and then she recognized that and was like, hey, sing. So she started buying me 
you know, at the time I couldn't listen to R and B. Um, so she was buying me a, a, a gospel uh, CDs, but they were a gospel artists that had that R and B edge, you know, uh, mm-hmm. uh, like the Winans uh, uh, mm-hmm. and, and stuff like that. So I, I was listening to them. Me being sissy, you know what I mean? <laughs> them the, the, and, and the, the, the the young boys, the the Winans Phase Two. Those guys were, you know, they, they were like the Black Street of gospel. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I couldn't really listen to Black Street at the time. <coughs> So that's what I was listening to. But when I could listen to Black Street, trust me, I was listening to them. And that, that you know, <clears throat> them along with a couple, obviously, the, the you know, a Jodeci and stuff like that. It's how I really started getting into using my voice, trying to see if I can do something with it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I also fell in love with rhythm. So I became a drummer. Um, and and that, I know you drum. Oh, you know I drum? Bro, <clears throat> I drum predominantly... Like my entire like adolescence up until I was about seventeen, eighteen. I was a I was a drummer in high school. I played marching band, um, jazz band. I uh, won a, a lot of awards from Berklee College of Music. I did a lot oh, of like, drumming and stuff like that. And then as I ended my high school career, I was like, you know what? I really want to. I sang in church all the time, but I was like, I want to record myself because I, at the time it was niggas like Mario. And of course, and, and, and Neo out, and, and of course, Chris Brown had just got started and whatnot. And I'm like, you know, I, I, can, I can sing better than these niggas. Like, <laughs> so I felt at the time, I'm like, let me, let me go see what I could do. And, you know. Shit. <laughs> Motherfucker. I know bullshit, though. That's why I, I, I give you that praise, too, because you do, you do, your voice is up there with the, with the best. Like, like, in the industry and even beyond, too. I was having this conversation earlier because I was saying this to Bia literally just this and I'm like all the people that I do know that can sing sing their ass off don't pursue it you, you know people like that like they can sing they just don't they just don't want to record they don't want to do anything like, mm, I know I know more people like that than actual singers singers that's that, that, interesting that try. that's interesting because I, I mean I don't know a lot of singers like and that's the crazy thing like I, I don't I, I, I hang around Mad rappers, like Word. a lot of my, my 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 close friends and close acquaintances are rappers. You know what I'm saying? So I'm the only singer, you know, I'm around um, outside of when I was going heavily involved in the church. That's when I was around more singers, but they were only singing one type of thing. So I really had to study um, to kind of find out, you know, what I wanted to sound like, how R and B sounded, you know, because I was behind the curve. Everybody was listening to all those. <laughs> dope songs and I was praising God you know ain't nothing wrong with that but I felt like you know I, I missed out so I had to do some studying I had to do homework that's that shit though that's where that soul comes from people get you, know, you could feel the singer more like through their voice and what they're oh, saying oh yeah and it, it's usually the ones that come through the church mm-hmm. when the, the church definitely teaches you presentation um, it teaches you how to they're really good with cultivating your, your, your gifts um, when, as a kid they always gave me the opportunity to sing so I was always messing up and, and getting better and, and learning and, and, you know what I mean, and, and on the drums. That's how I learned how to sing and play drums at the same time, you know, which is, I, I didn't realize how difficult it was until I re- other people started to learn how to do it, and it, it became something that they just couldn't master. And I'm not necessarily the most coordinated person, because I'll be for you. You gotta be coordinated as fuck to do that. But you gotta be, you know what I'm saying? So being able to, to sing and play, you know, it took some time to do that. And, you know, I just really, I really wanted to work hard at whatever I, what I do, you know what I mean? If it, it's something I really like to do, I wanted to, I wanted to be the best at it. Motherfuckers can't make a beat on the table and rap at the same time. They can't. Yo. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Coordination. <laughs> For real. We gonna pivot because you you brought you we're, we're talking about church. Y'all seen uh, Kirk Franklin's uh, son on the Bad Boys Club? Y'all seen this Bad Boys Club shit even going on? What? There's a Bad Boys Club. The Zeus Network. Which <laughs> is a what? There's a Bad Boys <laughs> Club. Shout out Panda. Yo, she will put me on. I was like, what's Yo. going on? She put so in her stories. I was like, what like, is like, this? Um, and the he talks about girl, the uh, bad uh, girls club, but it's with guys, but celebrity guys. So it's a bunch of, like it's like ninety percent gay guys, and then there's like that two straight guys, uh-huh. and Kirk Kirk Franklin's yeah. there, and 
Why are you look like that? Her friend's son. Yeah, if you look like that, you look like that. No, I thought her friend was like, like hosting the <laughs> no. show. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, no. It's like, my brother. Like, yeah, oh, my God. Be, nah, nah, nah. I mean, that probably that would, would go up. Wild. I would That'd watch really, it then. Yeah, I would yeah, watch it then. But, y'all watch that shit? Y'all watch that shit? Did y'all watch the Bad Girls Club when it was around? I have seen, yeah. like, the early seasons. I I ain't get into... I caught on late, because I ain't give a fuck. But the person I was with at the time, she was all about it. So I had I a like, cousin who right. into it. It's funny. No, nah, the, the earlier seasons are the best the best ones. That's what everybody was saying. Yeah. I missed it, I guess. I seen, like, the last two. Nah. nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the shows had the most polishing, and they, you know, they know what can get people riled up and all that. You know, when you, when you get the show early on, you get the shit that they were trying to do. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And so it's more organic. The situations are definitely less fabricated and things of that nature. That's how I feel. These. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So I don't like reality TV. I can't. I don't, I'm not a fan. Y'all, watch, y'all watching reality? reality Listen, I, I've been on reality shows. So. <laughs> what show have you been on? So in 2014, I was on this show called Make a Band Famous, right? Nice. With Mulatto. And then 2017, I was on this uh, show called Asina. Um, which has yet to actually come out. Um, and most recently, I'm on a show that's about to come out, but I can't say too much about that. Uh, uh, but it's some, it's some real Hollywood stuff. But that's not reality. The other stuff I was on was a reality show, and reality TV is a mess. That VH1 shit was insane. That, 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 shit, was, that shit shook the whole city. That was, a, that was crazy, right? That was one of the dopest experiences of my life. Like still to this day, like it was. What are some, what are some things you learned from that? I think I think he's the last the last one that we had everybody else from that from that from that um, VH1 shit. I think I think what I learned was how to like recover from mistakes, the quick fast, um, more than anything because everything was off the cuff. I mean, it was forty eight hours live stream. Um, doing song covers, original songs, playing with toy instruments, busking on the streets. It was like you had to learn as you went, and it was ridiculous. You know, so you, if you made a mistake, you couldn't, oh, we, we got to stop. No, we got to keep going. You know what I mean? And it was one of those things, and I was tired. I hadn't been to sleep, none of that. So I, you know, my voice is, we're singing straight. You know, we going straight through. So, like, my voice is going. So, of course, by the last song, I'm not sounding the best, but <laughs> uh, I'm over here moving on stage. I took my coat off. You know, like the, the performance is on YouTube. Um, the last song was called Holding On. I'm still, it was one of the dopest. We were on this big stage out in, um, in, in New York, and like right in the distance, you can see the Statue of Liberty right on a... Um, it was right on the shore somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck it was, but... It's funny. I was like, mm, like that's dope. It's a dope view. But like if you say that in New York, motherfuckers in New York don't give two fucks about the Statue of Liberty. Why is that? Why? Why can't? Because it's their everyday view. I mean, for some, not not all. If you live if you live down in the city, yeah. But if you live like anywhere else, it's like all right. So like, so, like yeah. <laughs> but it's a big deal. To everybody. It ain't it the Yankee Stadium. Liberty. It ain't Shea Stadium. It ain't City Field. You feel me? Like. Look, I ain't never, first of all, let me, pre- <laughs> let me preface this with this. That's dope. I ain't never been nowhere, so, you know what I'm <laughs> You're so, a whole lie. So, like, well, at the time, Word. I ain't never been nowhere, so being able to see that and being on stage, and it was mad people, and they were showing mad love, like, it was it was surreal. I, I felt like it was a glimpse into what I was meant to do, Word. you know what I mean? And for the first time, I felt like that's when everything became really real to me, where it was like, this is attainable. It's not a, a dream. It's not just something you've been thinking about. Like, this is what you, you're you literally living in the moment. So, like, even after that, I lost my job. Because I, I, I lost my job because I didn't go to work because they didn't give me the time off to go be in the competition. And I said, fuck, fuck it. that. <laughs> right. So, fuck I'm that. like, I'll figure it out afterwards. Right. So, you know, we did it. And we, and we, we were the last ones there. And we got beat out by this band. Fancy Reagan. I, I'll never forget the name of the band. I don't think they're doing anything. I hope they are. I'm not, you know. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I hope y'all ain't doing shit. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope they are. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I hope they are. But I think they bet on the wrong horse. That's what I'm saying. Um, we 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 worked our asses off. We had, you know, the band, Mulatto, shout out to Mulatto. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, 
there's not too many bands that is killing consistently mm -hmm. year over year mm -hmm. like the way Mulatto does. You're um, legendary at this point, Mulatto. Yeah. So big shout out to to all the members, past, old, um, and new, you know, exactly. members of, yeah. of Mulatto. But um, yeah, that that whole experience, man, changed my life. And even at, after that, I was like, if another opportunity come, I'm gonna take that one too, cause you have to. Like I could do this. You know what I'm saying? I could do this. That's when I was. I, I got back home. I got right back into the studio. You know what I mean? Like there were times where I performed for a Brian Michael Cox back in like 2013, and like after performing for him, I got right back in. I went like I didn't even go home. I got back into the studio and I was there for like three days. Like I was like hungry, super hungry. Like anytime I have an experience where I can perform or something like that, after that I always go back home and I go like load up a Pro Tool session because I like once it, once my creative start flowing. I gotta pay attention to it. So, can we talk about the genuine shit too? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I mean, fuck. We, 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 we can talk about it. We can talk about it because because <laughs> right now it's in a, it's still in the limbo stages. Um. So I'll tell y'all how it happened. Um. I got up one morning. And I woke up to like fifty missed calls. So I'm like. The hell's going on? I happen to just go online, and the first thing I see on Instagram is genuine, and him just bop into what I thought was one of my songs in the background. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at this video, and it's not registering. And I'm looking at this video, and then I realized, oh, that's genuine. He's listening to my song. I'm like that's pretty cool. <coughs> but then, of course, Faith is with me. And Faith is like, I, I hand her the phone. I'm like. I didn't say no, I just handled the phone. And she's looking at it like this. She's looking at it and she's like, okay. And I'm like, are you, are you listening? She's like, is that, that's you? <laughs> that, that's you? She starts going crazy. Y'all know fake. She started going, she was like, oh, wait, hold up. What's going on? So I'm like, I don't even know. So as the day progresses, I get a phone call. And this, uh, um, my writer partner, and he's my man, he's like, hey, look. Genuine, did you see the video? Genuine, wanna, you know, he wants to cut this song that you did. And I'm like, this is crazy. So within hours, I'm on the phone with him. And we're on FaceTime. And he's like, what up? I'm like, what's going on? And he's like, yo, this song you got is crazy. And I, I can't, I'm not going to tell you what the song is. But <laughs> like, this song y'all got is crazy. And I'm like, yo, I appreciate it, man. I'm, I'm me, and, me and my partner on FaceTime. And my partner, he's been... He lives in LA. He's been, we grew up around these people, so he he not starstruck. And I'm not one to get starstruck, but this is genuine, you know. Somebody that I, I watched on TV. This, this is pony. Like this is like this is the. I'm like I don't care what nationality you are, where you are in the world. If pony come on, you know that song. Yeah. You feel me? So like, as as it like I was like, yo, that's genuine. He was like, yo. Then he asked me. He said, you got any more? And I laughed dead in his face. <laughs> I, I laughed dead in his face because I knew. I'm like, yeah, bro, I got plenty for you. Plenty. So he was like, send me another one. I said, sure. I sent him another one within like five minutes. The second video went up. He was like, I want this one too. <laughs> I'm like, say less. So I'm like, we're, we're going back and forth. And, you know, from then on, we just kept in close communication. And, um, you know, when it comes to the music business, stuff be rolling and then stuff be stopped. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's kind of one of those things where I'm, what, what, I, what I realized from that situation was, like, I know I'm on the right path. You feel me? That gave me just more confidence. Like, somebody that I admired, that I looked up to, listened to my stuff and thought it was dope enough to post on his social media to his millions of followers you know and i was on it i was on it so it to me if no, even nothing ever comes of it if he decides oh i'm not gonna release no music anymore, i'm just gonna tour or whatever it was just a a life-changing experience for me just to be able to see him having fun and just enjoying my my music and like the way he's singing it like 
you can tell he's listening to what I'm doing. And that's 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 everything to me. Because I don't like I like that people enjoy my music when people go, yo, when you did the harmonies right here, that's what I, I live for. Because I put a lot of effort and time into putting together what I do. You know what I'm saying? So it was just life changing. And that shit is crazy. more to come. Way more to come. That's crazy. That's insane. Congratulations. Nah, yeah, real, appreciate real. that. Super <laughs> I was in shock. Like, shut the fuck up. I know this isn't going on right now. Yeah, it was. I yo, I, I looked at the video like fifty times. <laughs> I had saved it to my phone. I'm like, yo, this is this is a relic. Like, I'm gonna cherish this for the rest of my life because this is the first time that I felt like I was acknowledged for what I do in some you know form of capacity Word. and it got to him well, I'm like okay now I know I can I think here here just another it's just another reason to not stop you know what I'm saying like I, I didn't plan on it anyway but it's just another reason to not stop I, I love it too much let's go with the videos so I'm trying I'm working on one right now working on two right now um one with two tails my boy Two Tails, um, the record proud. We're gonna bless y'all with a, a dope visual for that. So right. we're getting together for that one, and I got a new song that I'm also giving you the exclusive to. Right. Um, it's called Type of Time. Um, that's gonna get a video too. So it's coming real soon. What I'm trying to do is for those of y'all that don't know how I operate, because I know a lot of people. I'm not as consistent as I want to be as an artist. I, I, I'm, what I'm trying to do is be more consistent, and this year I want to bring more music and stuff like that. But what I've done over the years, just so people know how I've moved, because um, I want to be very transparent about how I, how I utilize myself and my art. Um, I'm, I predominantly marketed myself as a songwriter. So over the years, I've just been writing records, referencing records, and just sending them to, to the contacts that I have to try to land placements of course the the caveat is a lot of the the producers that I work with are multi-platinum producers these are guys that they got it you know, that's happening I network people that I know I've developed over the years or whatever so obviously your boy ain't rolling in the dough yet so when it comes time to like hey like can I purchase this track they'd be more than happy to strike a deal with me but I gotta put up some bread, you know what I'm saying? So my goal is, what I've been working on is looking for investors to to, uh, to to bet on me. I know what I have, I have a huge library of songs that I've done over the years. And, they're, and, and I say that to say this, the genuine songs that he liked were songs I made six, seven years ago. So I, I have a library of songs that I know could go today and I'm just trying to what I want to do is, is is try to move better and try to get some solid investments and get and get to where I'm you know get where I'm trying to go. But for a while, it just stifled me because I would make these dope songs and couldn't do nothing with them because I gotta go through that those hoops. I gotta jump through those hoops, and the, the managers gotta get theirs and this, that, and the other. And, and there's sometimes where I did go to purchase songs and I and and or go to purchase tracks. And sometimes, you know, in the music business, dealing with certain people, managers and stuff like that, it get to be so stressful. You be like, you know what? <laughs> I'm good, bro. So I've been working with more local producers. Uh, shout out to Mac Basic. Um, shout out to my big brother, Chris Clayton. And he's a producer that fly under the radar um, that does a lot of my music. Shout out to Decomposer. Um, so there's going to be some new dope music coming out um, that's going to be fresh for y'all ears this year for sure you said two uh, things I wanted, I wanted to ask I, uh, where do you want to go but the other one I feel like is, is more important um, you have those fire ass songs and not, not, I'm not sure if you didn't record them or you just didn't put them out so what tends to happen is like I'll make the, the, like I, what I feel like is a fire song or whatever um, and you know I could most of the time what I do is I try to shop them out it, from a, any period of three months, six months, a year, maybe two years, depend. It all depends. If that don't hit, then I go back to the producer and go, "Look, man, it's been sitting on our hard drives. What are we doing with it?" You know what I mean? Some producers are like, "Hey, let's put it out." Some producers be like, "Well, 
I'll let it go, let it go for X amount of dollars. Some just go, hey, no, I still want to shop this. So it ends up being that type of situation where it'll sit on a hard drive for. I feel like this is a thing more R&B artists should do, and they don't. Sometimes they have a fire ass song, well, and it's like a lot of. There be people a with a dope ass art, pen, a lot of, and it's just like you can't, you're not, you're not though, hitting it. So why not the, sell it? I think some of the R and B artists, like, I think if you're thinking more in terms of like overall, but I'm talking more like in our area, they don't have a strong pen. Now I hear some, I hear, I do hear some things that would be like, if some, this person had this, yeah. it'd be, it would be crazy. Now, mind you, these are references too, mm-hmm. so maybe they can just take a part and then flip the whole fucking That's track. That's true. So it's like, I can see that as well. <coughs> some, I feel like some are better singers than our writers, and some are better writers than they are singers. I, I feel agree. like there's way better writers out here than singers. I can agree to that. I don't feel like we have many vocalists. Vocalists, vocalist, vocalist, nah. like, it's people that can make tracks. There's people, obviously, you, it, it's, shit, it sounds good. I agree. Mm-hmm. But like, belts and notes, and, and like, like, go, like, give them motherfuckers some chills, like, like yo, yeah. like, Sing that nah, back there's only line. a couple of those, like, and like I said, the ones that I personally know aren't pursuing. They're, not, they're, they're just not. Mm. I don't even. They just, it's just not. They're like in a tech. I shit. wonder. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder what it is. They, they just, there's got to be something discouraging them from, you know. But, the, but one but of them I, is Kashana. She's this. a dancer. She do her thing in L.A. But Kashana could sing her ass off. She I will Kishana. say this though: the, the the music business, like this shit's not for the faint of heart. I mean, we all know that. Yeah. Um, it, it's so I, I I tell people this all the time. If you don't love it, don't bother, bro. Like, really, really. The, the, Same shit with rap. The, it's it's still the, the the, the it, matter of fact. It's anything. It's so oversaturated. With and I, I'm a firm believer of just because you can doesn't mean you should. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, there's a lot of shit out here that 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 is out here because they they can do it, but it doesn't mean you you, you should. You know what I mean? That doesn't mean that's the, that's your that's your gift or that's your that's your lane. You know what I mean? Hey, um, <laughs> so, people came to realize that shit with podcasts. How many podcasts you just seen there on this year? That came. Hey, <laughs> yo, ain't it's, it's that like, the truth? It's like that though. It's like that. It's like that. But it's it's like that with any any type of creativity or anything. Anything you try and get any type of pocket, staying consistent is everything. Like you have to love it. Like otherwise, it's just gonna fall away. You're just gonna stop caring after. And you, all you did was waste time, money, energy. Other people's time, money, energy. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what do you think? What do you think is like lacking as far as in the in locally uh, with, the, with the this guy started with the pen? With the pen? I yeah. like people. I like the pen. So, so for the R and B artists out here, I okay, do. Good, I just, good. just can't sing. Well, we got <laughs> all right, one out of two ain't bad. I mean, I'm trying to. I'm just trying to pick Yo. up the up the area. I like the pen. I mean. We definitely do have some great writers. Um, I definitely would love to hear some more dope singers, some, some more real singing. And there are, few, like, I, I, I just don't want to start naming people because I don't want to leave anybody out. Like, but there are some that I, I do fuck with. Like, they like, damn, like, she got it. I don't think there's any... Malik, I, I definitely fuck with Malik. I definitely fuck with Malik. But, like, other than other than... Y'all too. I don't see any. Man, Malik, shout out to Malik, man. He's 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 uh the growth for him over the years. Like I started recording, we like at least when I, as far as I know, we first really started. Um, so but for the women, I don't want to get into. I don't even want to get into that. I don't even want to get into it. You know, maybe they feel. I mean, no, who 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 you think is? is... Uh, I don't even want to do it. I don't even want to do it. <laughs> I don't even want to do it. I'm not going to. <laughs> What you mean? Y'all be ready to put the rappers on black. The, 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 oh, the rappers kick, the rappers kick, kick rocks. I don't give a fuck about the rappers. <laughs> <laughs> the singers. Nobody want to touch the singers. Everybody, yeah, yeah, I, so I, I know we sensitive about our art, but like yeah, at the same, right. but at the same time, it's like, look, you know, the only way we get better is if we gotta, you know, you gotta, we gotta tell us, you gotta tell us where where we where we lacking at, where you know, where where the strong- wants, there's vocal coaching. Like go get go get the help. I feel like it's like there's people that are like right there. It's like damn, you can write, it, you can say you can perform. Mm-hmm. But to that point though, you know what I mean. To even this this whole line of conversation, this this is bigger than local. 
Because even to the statement that you made as far as singers that can belt, that is not the industry anymore. That is I know. Not popular music anymore, so that's bigger than local. Yeah. yeah. People going to get vocal coaches. That is not even the industry anymore. That aspect, the auto tune and the vibes has taken over urban music. So it's not even on the local end. That's where music is now. So, yeah, and, and I will agree 100%, but I, I don't think there's a harm in knowing the other side, though. I feel Because good. what that does is that allows you, it, you're, you're not one dimensional. So good. while we have a lot of these artists that are in that pocket with the vibe music, mm-hmm. man, you, you, are, you are dangerous. If you can do the vibe shit and then turn this, around, this is and this where the problem some, always you know lies. So this is why, and this is why I'm like, yo, I, I don't want, I want to be good at, I want to be good at, it. I want to be great at, it. Mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So if I'm a singer and if I'm gonna call myself a singer, so this is what this, if, if you're gonna call yourself a singer, all right? So if you're gonna if you're gonna give yourself that title, you then I'm sing. I'm expecting something. No bullshit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I'm expecting. I, I hate to sound like I'm preaching right. I sound like my dad. Just <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my pops, man. Love you, dad. Um, uh, but if smoking, oh me, oh you ain't smoking. Yeah, yeah. Weirdest part. You, you taking a hiatus? You ready to hit this? Well, that's my weed, man. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even Should say I, anything. I searched my weed the first ten minutes of this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> so rather than dwell on it, <laughs> yeah, continued on with the. All beat. right. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. no, but if you gonna call yourself a singer, then yeah, you 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 should know how to do something, something. I if it's the if it's the singing pretty, then then sing pretty. You know what I'm saying? But if if it's the belting, you know, out whatever, give, give us a little bit of that. But I, that's if you call yourself a singer. If you're an artist, then you know, then I, I'm expecting My shit something different. Always is like to your point. That's exactly how the trap. Everybody falls into the trap. Mm-hmm. They're like, damn, this sounds great. This sounds great because of all the technology we got and engineering and all this shit. Mm-hmm. And then you go see that person become a fan. You go see that person, and then you're like, damn, you sound like shit. Mm-hmm. And then you, but that's but, based on your expectations as a fan. And but it's it's to that though. Like I expect you to to sound. Now to that exact point, as we both done said in the past, even on this podcast, we done been disappointed with famous singers singing. Exactly. So I, now I'd be disappointed with famous singers. So but now, now I'm not a fan point, anymore. So to that exact point, to even his statement, so, but each singer's standard could be different. So here it Certain is. Certain singers could say, my falsetto got to be fire. Certain singers say, I don't need falsetto. So here it is. You yeah, as average yeah, consumer, you might not take away from them that they don't have a falsetto or they don't showcase it. Where a singer or a person who has a little more knowledge might say, nah, did you hear the way? Like you said a minute ago, even about, if I'm taking a compliment, I'm more listening to you saying, uh, damn, the way you did that layer or that stack right there. Right, right, right. It's a more deeper understanding. So you as a consumer, you have a deeper connection and understanding than the average person. Okay. So what you expect is going to be deeper and but but also, and also and I'll say this as well. Consumer. I'll say this as well. Like the thing about there's a there's a there's a, there's a recording artist mm-hmm. and there's a performing artist. Mm-hmm. Same thing. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so you got you sure. got people that are dope and can run circles and sing great on the record mm-hmm. and live. They just don't got Work. it. Work. They don't got it. So for as for me. <laughs> I try to sound like the record, <laughs> or at least you know, like give you a live experience, like mm-hmm. a variation of. You know what I mean? I, I do my best to, to 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 try to sound like like you know, like give you that live experience. You, you know, know what I'm saying? I don't I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be that good recording <laughs> artist. Like, that is <laughs> not up for conversation. You know, <laughs> yes, it's really it's not. not what you do. It's just not up for debate at yeah, all. You, and like, I think all. it's. It's obviously because of that standard. You know what I mean? That standard for yourself, a consumer could come to you and say, well, bro, you don't even have to do all that to wild me. You don't give a fuck. You going, the standard you me, set bro, for yourself. Like, I just like, I, I, it's real like man, it's I real love shit. recording. Like, I love recording a lot. And I love performing a lot. And I'm like, yo, if I if I love these both, man, I got to be nice at both of these shits. So that when you hear the record, they're like, oh, this record's fire. I wonder how he would do this shit live. And then you come see me do it live, and it's like, this shit is even crazier live. It's people like, I like the live version more than I like the recorded no version. Bullshit. Like, be I, like that. That's, that's, what, that's the artist that I aspire to be, is I continue to, 
you know, to be. You know what I'm saying? And that's just... So, yeah, you do have uh, uh, expectations of, 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 you know, certain, because you have a deeper understanding. And what I'm trying to do for people is give people a deeper understanding of music. And the problem that we have right now is that everything is so muddy. I had somebody come to me the other day online was like, oh, it was, it was a comparison to Tupac to Lil Nas X. And it was like, oh, <laughs> rappers back in the day and rappers now. And I'm, and I'm scratching my head and I commented and I said, I'm confused. I said, he said, why? I said, well, Lil Nas X isn't a rapper. Mm -hmm. He's okay. not even a fucking, then, like, he's, then oh he, said, he said, well, what is he? I said, he's a pop star. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. He was like, and some dude was like. Give him that because he's black. No, he's mm -hmm. not. I said, why? He said, because Google says that he's a rapper. That's what Google said. Listen to me. I said, records. see, I said, unfortunately, Google got it wrong. I said, first of all, if you listen to Lil Nas X music, because it's dope as fuck, I'm not, not going to hold you. It's fucking dope music. He, he even said, pop star, but the rappers still respect me in one of his lines, number one. And number two, you, you can tell by the composition. Like, how, you, how is it a comparison? Mm -hmm. So I think it's fundamentally people just don't have an understanding nope. of music, man. Like, it, there's artists that don't have an understanding of music. Facts. There's artists that, that, that know theory that don't know music. <laughs> yeah. Bruh. That doesn't make any sense. It's wild. <laughs> it's wild. It's wild. <laughs> so it's yeah. like... So, so, <laughs> it, 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 so, so one of the things, you know, like, you, I try to do, one of the things, I, you, you want to get a healthy, you want to get a little bit of theory, because you want to know how, you want to know what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? And then you let the creativity do its thing, you know, so you have that base of theory, and, and, you know, you move from there. And I think that's kind of the best way to learn, but for, for the average consumer, I think showing them more about the recording process doing behind the scenes stuff a little bit more. Uh, and for those that, it's for those that want it. It ain't for everybody, but it's for those that want it. Um, and things like, I hate that I wanna say this, but things like the STEM player, thing is, a, is, a, is dope because it allows you to listen to the song in a, a perspective that you never would be able to. So the way that we do when we edit the songs and we're going back and we're soloing vocals and hearing shit, and trying to get the mix right, they can single that shit out and listen to it themselves. It's a dope way to listen to a song. It's a hundred different ways you listen to the same song. So shit like that, I think is gonna expand the listener's mind. Um, and I feel like for, for those that really want that, that, that want that to, to hear what the artist is really doing, I think that's how we're gonna be able to educate people and get people to start putting the oomph back into their music in general. <coughs> and I'll land that plane in. <coughs> God damn. <coughs> Back to the question earlier. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to see yourself? I want to be able to sustain myself off of my gift. I want to be able to live comfortably off of my gift. In any way, that whether that be through just putting out songs or TV licensing, sync placement deals, jingle writing, because I do that too. Um, I don't do shit, bro, I'm in so, um, <laughs> I wanna be able to, it, it's, it's what I love to do, why not be able to make money and live off of that? No bullshit. I always I'm, feel like you could be the a, a, a great insurgent for bringing real R&B back. You know what I mean? Like, in, in your consistency with it, because even to the to the last show, I feel like that was kind of the fall of R&B. It was when the heavy hitters started fucking changing to. You know what I mean? When when the motherfuckers you know was doing through R&B, like I was started a fan of, doing uh, Tanache when she first came. Ooh, out. Yeah, and right. she was real pro black and all that shit when she came. Like, really? To, go listen to Black Water and shit. You, you, you this is not the same artist. This is literally not the same artist. She fully that song, conformed. that song, company is she hard. She fully that, conformed. That you know what I mean? Like it's so many people shit. The same shit you even said about Neo. Like Neo's still forever gonna be one of the greatest. But yeah. you listen to what Neo was doing, and you understand. You can't knock nobody in with the money and the, the notarization you want, but real army. It's gone. 
real R&B. Like, I'm not gonna say it's gone. So. I don't think so. I'm not gonna yeah, say it's gone. gone. I'm not gonna say it's gone. It's mainstream magic once more. I'm not gonna say it's gone. It's no, it's not. It's not. It's not as mainstream as it once was, but it's coming. It's coming. And trust me, because I'm tapped in. I'm tapped into a lot of great. Give us, give us, give us five right now, right now. Kenyon Dixon. Oh, I fuck with Dixon. I literally was listening okay. to that shit on the way here. Kenyon Dixon. You know that my body. Uh, <laughs> Lucky Day. Yeah. yeah. I like Lucky Day. <laughs> get over. So, okay. Uh, uh, Levin Cali. Okay, I don't know who that is. Levin Cali, very much like Lucky Day. Okay. Um, who else do I want to give you? Um, it's good badges now. It's like fucking Division. Yeah, the group. Division. Canada. But it's some niggas... Like, it's for me, I don't put in it. Like for me, nah, the girl that burn fires. I don't put burn fires in our I personally don't like burn fires, but that's probably because I'm a. I grew up in a different era of R and B, so I though I understand the style choice. I ain't going. It's it's not. My I ain't gonna say he can sing like Love and Love. I ain't gonna say he can sing like you. <laughs> yeah. You want to get Brent Fires? Oh God, I put my can. money on one. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't heard shit from Brent Fires. Yeah. Singing wise, we ain't talking hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Singing ability. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? And that's the shit. I feel like hits. Even though when it comes to rap, like hits in black music, that motherfuckers made hits more important than our our sound, than our story. Just the hit. The that hit. shit is whack. That's so a now you never got people before, chasing the hit more than telling a story. The, right. the, the telling so your the songs story that come out of mad gimmicky. Yeah, I know, like it, chasing it, it. No we just had a conversation it. on a podcast not too long yeah. ago with the artist that was on here, and he was talking about how he bragged about things he didn't have, and that goes to that point. I think he's doing the same thing, and it's like I would rather hear you talk about your struggle, how you broke. It's more it creative for you well, to be able to make yeah. that shit sound hot. Mm. Mm. You know how dope you gotta be to make some shit that I think corny sound hot, motherfucker. Right. Bars. Compared to you making some shit that everybody talk, we all hear the APs, the Audemars, we all hear the... Right. So you, it's, it's easier to reference some shit that everybody referencing and try to blend. It's harder to genuinely make yourself stand the fuck out. It's like he said, this is this is a test of will and a lot of motherfuckers don't really yeah, want to run this will, race. Bro. They That's just want to, they just yeah. want the, the, the finish with you the end result. They don't want to run the race, they want the end result. I think he said he was, <coughs> he was talking more, like it's more of a manist- <coughs> like he's manifesting it. Like he knows oh, no, I was talking about why rappers want to do it. Rappers okay. just want to yeah, say they okay. do They say they a rapper. Yeah. Yeah. It's a flex. Yeah. They just want to say they doing no, it just but to say to it. To the point of the whole R&B shit, a while back, um, yeah, he got to reference them again, but shout out to my guy Joe Budden. But um, Tank, Tank called in. Cause Joe Budden was like, oh the Shut up, um, the R&B Tank guy. Tank ain't never yeah. stopped fucking R&B. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's my all, one of my all-time favorite R&B singers. Man. When we, yo, first of all, 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 he needs to stop playing and take one of these songs. But I digress. Hey. Is Money Long really his daughter? The hours and hours girl? I've been hearing that's his daughter. No, I never heard that day in my life. You never heard no. hours an hour? No, no. Oh, you never heard no. hours God, yeah. everybody never heard hours an hour. I think his daughter covered the song. I think mm. it was confusing. Yo, mm. she bodied it too. Yeah. Money yeah, Long is dope too. I like yeah. Money Long. Oh, yeah, she's for a new insurgent for for female. Mm-hmm. That's a she's joke, been that's around a, for a very yeah. long time. Yeah. She been first of all, she she's a writer. That's how she mm-hmm. came up. She I wrote. It. She wrote and Who's wrote. Who's the other girl who was writing for Ariana? Uh, uh, the uh, other girl, uh, that she's she's dope too. Uh, is her, her Joe Budden? Victoria fucking, Monet. Yeah, she, he fucking loves her. He, that's what he was basically saying that the R and B girls are killing the guys. Was it Victoria Monet? I think it was. Yeah, 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 it was her. And Tank was like, "Oh, you're not being fair because you got the R and B singers competing with the melodic rappers." Facts. And it's hard. You don't the have the average consumer the, doesn't do it. Yeah, that's an you, don't have, no. you don't have the people girls, who have people understanding, the older people, they and all those people. They, they classify the Drake consumer? as R and B. Literally, oh my literally, like, like, that's not. Literally, I didn't have arguments with women that I didn't feel Brent Fias could sing to the same shit I just said. And they, motherfucker, what? Let somebody. I will play some singers. He ain't hit to the same shit. Play play a song where you tell me Brent Fires has some uh, real falsetto, no auto tune, no no computer generated shit. Play it. 
Because I can play 20 artists and they, they'll show you all the ranges in real life they can fucking do. You can watch their real life performances and same shit you said. They shit sound the same. These motherfuckers is going up now with same shit, bro. Actually, you got an auto tune setting in your mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just don't eat. Chill out sometimes. Somebody ask you. Yeah. You ain't no Boy, singer, nigga. I, 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 you can't sing, nigga. More than, more than one person. You cannot sing. I would've, I would've, that's my point. And people, I would appreciate people would invest into things like that because if you know you're using those those effects, you need to get that mic. But the average consumer gonna give that Instead person the same the credit. Mi- the asking the sound record guy. wise. Yeah. Record wise, they're gonna give that same nigga credit mm-hmm. as the next nigga who actually can sing, and that nigga can't sing. Now, 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 let's talk about auto tune for a second. So, auto tune is a pitch correction system, mm-hmm. right? So, they the average singer uses auto tune. Like, I, I, I'll be the first to tell you, I use auto tune, mm-hmm. right? It, it's to, it's to clean things so that so you can focus more on delivering feel as opposed to focusing on intoni- like notes. Right. Right. So, uh, at least that's how I use it. Um, now, a lot of the the people that use auto tune, they they're using it to compensate for the lack for of the lack of ability to sex. And yo, you can fix that auto tune. Why I sound like that? Nigga, you didn't hit the right. <laughs> Ain't there you but go. so much the computer could do. <laughs> there you go. So and you can tell when the effect is on heavily, and you can tell when it's not. You know what I mean? And sometimes you can't tell when it's on it at all. If, right. if you do it right, you don't even think about the auto tune. No you know bullshit. I mean? you, you, you're not even thinking about it. Um, and that's because the singer is carrying the song. The auto tune is just there to just help it along. And that's all it is. So there are people that go, I'm, I'm, you no auto tune. Well, you're probably shooting yourself in the foot. Yep. I, I'm yeah. letting you know yep. right now. Yep. So yep. it's yep. your pride yep. Yep. that's getting in the way. Just throw the fucking plug in on, keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? Like you turn it down. So much better if you will put some effects. Turn it down. It. Turn it down. If you don't know how to turn it down, figure it out. Mm-hmm. Turn it down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and adjust it as you go. And I'm, 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 I'm literally up, off. Like, <laughs> he offered your keys. <laughs> <laughs> You thought, you thought, I wasn't gonna say that, but he offering you keys right now. He, that's, that, that's a jewel. He just dropped that for y'all. But yeah, fit, just put it on there. You know what I'm saying? And and learn to to work with it. Because once you learn how to work with it, you you can you be pretty dangerous. Once you learn how to work with it. On record. It, 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 yes. On record, you can be dangerous. Yes, you can be pretty dangerous. But then you gotta learn how to do it live. Okay. You better uh, ask okay. one of the mics. So. <laughs> Yeah, Put the yeah, Amazon mic. order in for the mic. Yeah. <laughs> and practice. After you cut the record, nigga. Order that mic, motherfucker. After you cut the record. Did you no need bullshit? So, so that. We we'll go up on that stage, nigga. Act- <laughs> we don't we don't we don't hate on auto tune. <laughs> but we don't live by it. You know what I'm saying? Facts. We don't live by it. You know what I'm saying? Cause at any given moment the auto tune don't work and then what? Mm-hmm. I thought motherfuckers were gonna be tired of it by now. I am not going to front. I'm talking about the consumer. <sighs> I thought so too when, when it first came out, but that's because it was so heavily on the tracks. Like it was very heavy. But then they got to realizing, oh, we need this. You know, I used to be the craziest Wayne fan. As soon as he found Auto Tune, I was like, fuck this nigga. I think, to that point, though, to the same shit like bro saying that any, obviously any artist that use auto tune, they know, like, and it's not, not, you not change. Like that. It wasn't that deep. So I, I really, I really stopped becoming a fan once you started going that route. Your delivery has to fit to make the auto tune work. Yeah. So, realistic to your point, his whole delivery fully changed. You know what I mean? The way he rapped fully changed on the tracks that he started using. Mm-hmm. That. It was more melody induced shit. Which then vicariously made what? His content he was actually talking about change. You know what I mean? He yeah, didn't yeah, just yeah, switch because, up his delivery. Because now, he started because, talking about because, whole different shit. Because, and I, and I like talking about shit like this because it's important to talk about the intricacies of music. Yes. Because now, I'm, I'm, I'm using, I'm implementing more melody. And melody holds more time. So I don't have to use as many lyrics. Facts. 
You see what I'm saying? Facts. I, but, I, this, this, but me, I'm a, I'm a wordy singer. I, and I don't know if, if you don't know now, you'll find out. And I'm a very wordy singer because I like to tell stories. I like to talk. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but an advantage as a singer, you know, you can, you can stretch out notes for a bar or two yes. without saying, you know, you're saying one word. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, so that's a that's one cool thing that singers can do, and that when you when you learn how to sing, there's an advantage you have. If you learn how to sing, <laughs> <laughs> shit, Rihanna did it. Oh man, uh, I don't think Rihanna can sing. I still. don't either. I don't. But she she's still. Her, but I ain't uh, seen her live uh, since. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I ain't seen her live since Six Flags Way Back. Ever, she can sing Dirt Pound Replay. If Dirt Pound Replay, she can't sing. She's a great artist. No, she's, she can't sing. She's not a good vocalist. She's not a vocalist. Well, none of us know right now. She ain't put out a record. Right. right. I know. Man. Right now, she ain't <laughs> any of those. Yeah, 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 no, right she ain't any of those. But I love Rihanna. But like, but it's like, but it's, but it's. She's not a. I don't put her. It's like. Jasmine Sullivan. Oh, yeah, Jasmine Sullivan. That's a different category. And then it's like, that's different category. And then it's like, that's a different category. That's, that's what, are, what are we talking about? That's a different like, category. What are we talking that's about? Not, that's, that's, a, that, that's, talking a, that's, about? that's literally that's my point. That's a singer. Though. Exactly. There's a singer, because because the there's a singer the average, and then there's a singer. The average singer, a uh, Jasmine Sullivan, to me, is one of those people, like you was explaining earlier. One of those females that you know can sing her ass off, but she's not chasing music. That's usually the jazz. What are you song. talking about? Yeah. She just on tour. No, I'm not talking specifically. Oh, I'm gonna, oh I'm I'm today. comparing her <laughs> oh, okay. to the, oh, the type of regular people. people. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Those be the singers. Yeah. And if they do pursue music with their genuine skill and love for music, they have to really realize you're not going to be the top seller. Yeah. You, you're going to blow and you're going to have respect like a motherfucker. But you, you're not necessarily going to be the top selling artist. You know what I mean? So when you're going into this generation, that. especially sometimes a lot of popularity singers, and Sometimes clout, a lot of singers can't really record like that. Who motherfucking like do that? There's a, this much motherfuckers that's going to accept that. that I... Sometimes singers just aren't good recorders. I'm you interested in sitting... <laughs> we know a couple that can sing their asses off live than a motherfucker. Like, really? Sing their asses off. And when they record I want to sit music, on your session. it I'm does not dying sound to. the same. I'm dying to. I am dying to sit on. Uh, I done low-key been on a couple of your sessions. All my sessions be and at the crib in my pajamas. Nah, just. When you had over here and I was Yo, there. Yeah, do y'all know, first of all, because I, I, I think the, there's a misconception where when artists start out that, oh, I got to go to a, a studio Talk about this. and I got to, you know, pay X amount of dollars or... After you started going to a studio, you know, you're still paying a, an exorbitant amount of money to do something you could probably do yourself. So get yourself your own home set up because it's not very expensive, number one. Um, number two, you can record damn near anywhere. I've made half hearted, I made half hearted in, in the bedroom of my, my, my apartment in California. And I had, it was a janky setup. That I had I had everything set up way over here, and then I had a, a mic running into the clock into the closet, and I was just singing into the closet door, and everything sounded like. Shout out to, you know, John Dillinger for the mix, of course, because he always mixes my stuff. But bed bedroom quality, like, and it sounds to me it holds up against any record that. Any art to put out today. I'm a, I'm a dry snitch on myself and give you give you give you give you a rose and stuff. So I did a singing song not too long ago. It was long ago, and I, I'm going through it on Dilly shit. And hey, you know what I'm saying? Fully stole your whole preset, bro. And sang on that shit. <laughs> 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 Obviously, I'd have seen you, you know what I mean, oh working your shit, so I can tell God. the differences in how uh, you do shit and how you do shit. I'm like, nah, what? Oh, my God. Because when you do it, I had to try to switch on my 
what's up. I hate you. <laughs> you know me? Cause with you, cause with you, you know what I mean. When I when I when I do when I do uh, what I feel is singing right. Is the call? You tell me. When I do what I feel is singing right. <laughs> <He's> like, <"Yo." laughs> Oh my God, Ma- yo. Ma- manager, man. <laughs> so Macway, yo. Macway just told. He just said that 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 he stole my template because <laughs> he came across one of my sessions in a, in a session with Johnny, and, and I told him I had to call my manager because we might have we might have to pursue legal action. <laughs> Your manager's supposed to be here. <laughs> and she said, wait a minute. Yeah, she said, I'm on the record at it. Hey, 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 wait a minute. Mr. Kenneth. Yo! Yeah. <laughs> I'm not playing on the podcast. I'm not playing on the podcast. <laughs> 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 I'm playing um, so, you know, um, um, the song, you know, it's sitting. No. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on it right now, you know, but... Uh, that shit hard than a motherfucker. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know, you want to know why it's hard? That's all I'm saying. Because it's was, my tip. Bro, that's I'm not hold. I'm not going to hold, bro. To the same shit you were saying. Like, I'm a nigga, like, he done been obsessed with me. I love layers and stacking. When I see your shit have, like, you know, yeah, your shit got boom, 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 boom. I'm like, like I said, I've been with Dilly. I mean, Dilly don't like to stack that much. Like, I'm like, bro, shits. I mean, like. uh, ma- manager, you gotta, you gotta call his, you gotta call his people. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but no bush, you cool. We'll you cool. <laughs> you gonna get one in anyway, Mr. 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 Mac Wayne. No cap. No so, cap. No cap. No cap. Oh, so God. so uh, wh- while you're on the phone, so uh, Car- mm-hmm. Carla got a bone to pick with you. So I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm gonna step over here. Yeah man, what happened? I thought you was pulling up. Nah, this was definitely, uh, he's on a, 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 he's on a,
When it comes to this DJ shit, can't nobody fuck with me when I when it comes to this catalog. There you I don't go. give a fuck what nobody say. There you go. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Put me, any, put, me, put me anywhere. Yeah. Put me anywhere. I got yeah. it. I don't give a fuck. But give you social media one time before we get out of here. Yes, sir. So Rome 860 for pretty much everything. Um, that's it. Uh, Jerome Clayton on uh, uh, all major platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, Tidal, all of that good stuff. So hit me up, and uh, we're going to make some, some some real good music this year. I promise you that. No word. Thank you for coming on. I can't believe you have my head. It's ridiculous. Until next time. We out this hole, but you was gone. You was you was little. You was gone. Oh for yeah, no, I was out. You gone for the grip. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Make sure you got.